Hello everybody, it's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. So I'm up here again with another um, hair colour review. So as you can see, my hair has gone quite an orangey sort of colour. My roots have come through and it's desperate for colouring. Um, it's still quite a nice colour, but it, I just feel it's a bit too orangey for my skin tone. And as you can see, I've got like little greys and stuff. So um, I've treated myself to a L'Oreal casting colour, which is only a semi-permanent. I normally colour my hair with permanent hair colours. Um, but after reading the reviews, it said that they do cover greys and I haven't got loads and loads of grey hair. So I thought to give my hair a bit of a break from permanent colour, I would try this. I kind of think it might possibly go darker. I remember um, non-permanent hair colours always go darker than they look on the box. Um, but I thought it looks really, really like a lovely red colour. So fingers crossed it does go similar. So I've got it in number 460, cherry red. So I'm off to colour it. I haven't washed my hair for a couple of days. So you're supposed to use it on unwashed hair. So without further ado, let's uh, put our old clothes on and get it mixed up and put it on. Right, I'm ready to mix it up. So you have to take the little gray ring off, twist that back on there, which undoes it, pops it open. And then, I'm sure you all know how to do this anyway, don't you really? And then you just put that in there and then you put the cap back on and shake it up and then it's ready to put on. Now this time I've had to do it on damp hair. So I've had to wet it and then towel dry it. I didn't realise that so it's a good job I did read the instructions properly. Um, because most colours you put on dry hair. But this one I don't know if it's because it's semi-permanent. It does go on damp hair so I've got a towel on my head. Do -do. <laughs> so I've just towel dried it and then we're going to put it on and again it says if you've coloured your hair within the last three months you're supposed to put it on the roots for 15 minutes and then put it through to the end of your hair for 10 minutes so uh, for five minutes so I'll do what it says but I'm just a bit worried that five minutes on the end won't be long enough to sort of cover my hair but I'll do what it says I've also bought two boxes because my hair's quite long um well not that long but quite long and I I always seem to not have enough, so I always buy two boxes. So that's just the first one I'm going to mix up, and then I'll mix the second one up. So again, I'll see you when I've got it on. Right, it's on all over. So it's on all over, so you have to leave it on all over for five minutes, and then we're going to wash it off. Ooh, fingers crossed it goes okay. Right, it's done. So let's go dry it and see what it looks like. Ooh. Right, three, two, one, are you ready for the big reveal? Dun, dun, dun. So there we go. So I've washed it, dried it, um, and that is the colour. I think it's amazing. It's covered all my greys, um, and it's just absolutely lovely. My hair's so shiny, um, so soft. The conditioner it came with, you get loads in the bottle, and I can't tell you how nice the conditioner smells. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and my hair just feels so lovely. I absolutely love the colour. It's so nice. So it's just covered my red a bit, but it hasn't done it too bad. Obviously, it's covered all my greys. It's quite an even colour from top to bottom. Um, and compared to the colour on the box, which is there, I think it's actually a really, really good match. I'm absolutely over the moon with this. And it didn't smell at all because obviously there's no peroxide in it. And it's just absolutely lovely. I really, 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 really love this. So I hope this was useful. Obviously, if you have got medium to sort of dark brown hair, then it will go this sort of colour. Um, the more porous your hair is, obviously the deeper the red it will be, the brighter it will go. But I just hope this was useful if you are thinking of colouring your hair. And maybe you don't want to put a permanent on it. So I would definitely be using this one again next time. I love it so much. Obviously, it may not last as long as a permanent. It says on the box it will last for up to 28 washes, um, depending on how often you wash your hair. But it was so easy to apply um, and it was just lovely. It was so easy and it smelled really nice and it doesn't feel damaged or anything. It feels so soft. And when the sun was out, just the sun's just gone in. But when the sun was out, it was really, really shiny as I was drying it. So it's lovely so as you can see in pure daylight you can't there's no lights nothing affecting it this is the color 
lovely it washed off my skin and i would give this 10 out of 10 love it and obviously you get loads of conditioner so next time i wash my hair um i've still got some of the conditioner i can use on it as well so that's it so i hope this was useful if you are thinking of coloring your hair and you want to go like a nice red cherry red color um many thanks for joining me if you do enjoy this then please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on instagram as mrs crazy bag lady so if you follow me on youtube obviously you'll see how it starts to wash out because i do daily videos so you'll get an idea as the color starts to fade but uh this is it so many thanks for joining me bye